welcome to interview questions on statistics so today's question is when is it appropriate to employ z test so basically we need to know what situation or in what kind of uh, scenario we are going to implement the z test so there are a couple of reasons and let's look at them one by one so initially first of all in statistics you need to know that we have multiple tests just like your z test we have t test we have f test then we have pair t test and chi square test so these are all the different tests we have in statistics and z test obviously we do have so there is specific scenarios or specific uh, uh, like the scenario and the settings or requirements where we generally use this test so there are some scenarios where z test would be more useful so first of all this is one of the most important part or important requirement. The sample size has to be more than 30. So we need to make sure that when we are collecting the samples from the population and we are trying to implement Z test on them, the sample size should be more than 30. So only if it's more than 30, then Z test would make more sense or Z test would work well. If it's less than 30, technically it will still work, but the z-test would not be as accurate as it would be. So when it's less than 30, generally we prefer t-test. So t-test would be more helpful if the sample size is very less. And whatever the data points which are there in the sample, we need to make sure that those data points are not at all related to each other. So they should be completely unrelated. The problem with this happens is if the data points are related, then a change in one data point could also affect another data point. This will cause a lot of issues when you're trying to get the Z test and it will affect the overall accuracy of the Z test. So that's the reason we do not generally prefer uh, data points being related. So we need to make sure that none of the data points are related to each other. And the data should be evenly dis dispersed. So whatever data you have from the sample, we need to make sure that the distribution of the data is even or it is normal. But this particular requirement is not that important because either way, if the sample size is more than 30, the dispersion or the distribution of the data will be even itself or it will be normal only. So we don't really don't need to worry about the data distribution. But if in case the sample size is less and we are still trying to use it, then the data would then there would be some issues so we should we need to make sure that the data should be evenly distributed there in that kind of situation but mostly since we use z test when the sample size is more than 30 so this point doesn't really make that much importance right and then the information should be chosen at random from a population which means whatever data that we are going to choose or whatever samples we are choosing from population we are going to implement a sampling technique called as simple random sampling which means we randomly pick some samples such that every sample has equal opportunity of being selected or every data every data has equal opportunity or equal probability of being chosen so this is one of the techniques that we use when we are trying to sample the data from the population so and on this data we will generally implement the z test so this is one of the areas where z test would really uh, make a lot of difference and the sample size should be equal so even this point we have to make sure that the sample size has to be equal but technically even if they are not equal the test would still work it's just that it will not be as accurate or as uh, satisfactory it will provide any satisfactory result for us so as much as possible we need to make sure that the sample size is actually equal of all. It doesn't matter how many samples we choose. We need to make sure that all those samples are same in size. 